Number eight, what is the distance between points V located at negative 5 and 2 and point C which is located at 3 and 5? So, we will use distance formula. Write the distance formula. So, that's the distance formula. Now, let's substitute the following given. This is our first point. So, we have this one as x sub 1 and y sub 1. This is our second point. So, we can have this one as x sub 2 and y sub 2. Substitute. x sub 2 is 3. Minus x sub 1 is negative 5. Next y sub 2 is 5 minus so this this is 5 minus y sub 1 is 2 squared 3 minus negative 5 so again negative times negative that becomes positive 3 plus 5 is 8 8 squared 5 minus 2 is 3 3 squared should be written there. Next. Eight squared is sixty-four plus three squared is nine. Sixty-four plus nine is equal to seventy-three. Or you can have it in decimal form as approximately. 8.54 For number 9 Which of the following would give the coordinates of the midpoint of point A which is negative 1, 3 and point C at 2, 4 So first let's write the midpoint formula So this is the midpoint formula Now let's substitute Again, this is our first point, so this is x sub 1 and y sub 1. This is our second point, so this is x sub 2 and y sub 2. Substitute. x sub 1 is negative 1. Plus, x sub 2 is 2. All over 2. Comma. y sub 1 is 3. Plus, y sub 2 is 4 all over 2 and close parenthesis so this is the equation that would give us the coordinates of the midpoint from point A to point C number 10 the endpoints of a segment are negative 2 5 and 3 2 what are the coordinates of its midpoint so again let's write the midpoint formula so that's the midpoint formula. Now let's substitute the following points. So this is our x sub 1. And this is our y sub 1. This is our x sub 2. And this is our y sub 2. Next, substitute. x sub 1 is negative 2. Plus, our x sub 2 is 3. All over 2, comma. y sub 1 is 5. Plus, y sub 2 is 2 all over 2 next negative 2 plus 3 that becomes positive 1 1 over 2 comma 5 plus 2 is 7 over 2 next you will have this one as your final answer for the coordinates of the midpoints or maybe it is written not in a fraction form but in a decimal form so one half can be rewritten as 0 0.5 while 7 over 2 can be rewritten as 3.5 number 11 vertices of a rectangle point v is located at 1 6 point e at 5 6 point r at 5 4 while point a at 1 4 solve for the length of one of the rectangles diagonal so first let's draw our rectangle so point v at 1 6 so 1 and then 6 up 6 units upward so it's here that's point v point e at 5 6 so 5 
Rx is 5 and then 6 units upward which is Rx, Ry. Next, point R at 5, 4. So, Rx is 5 and then Ry is 4. So, 4 units upward. So, it's here. Next, point A at 1, 4. So, Rx is 1 and then 4 units upward. That's RA. Now, let's connect all the vertices to show our rectangle. To solve for the length of the diagonal, we can solve using this diagonal or you can use this diagonal. So, let's solve for diagonal VR. So, distance from V to R is equal to write the distance formula next substitute so this because we use the points v to r so v is our first point this is our x sub 1 and y sub 1 next v is our second point this is our x sub 2 and y sub 2 Substitute. X sub 2 is 5. Minus X sub 1 is 1. Squared plus. Y sub 2 is 4. And Y sub 1 is 6. 5 minus 1 is 4. 4 squared is 16. Plus. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. 16 plus 4 is 20. Okay, so you can have the length of point V to R as square root of 20. Let's simplify square root of 20. So that becomes 2 square root of 5. Or you can have it in decimal form. It's approximately... 4.47 Number 12 The endpoints of a diameter are S located at negative 3, 4 and M located at 2, negative 1 What is the length of the radius? Because our given is a diameter First, we're going to get the length of our diameter and then, the result will be divided by 2 to get the length of the radius. So, the distance from S to M is equal to, write the distance formula. Next, after writing the formula, substitute the following given. So, this is our first point. So, that's our x sub 1 and then y sub 1. This is our second point. So, this becomes our x sub 2 and y sub 2. Next, substitute. x sub 2 is 2. y sub 1 is negative 3. y sub 2 is negative 1. And our y sub 1 is 4. 2 minus negative 3. Negative times negative, that becomes positive. So, 2 plus 3 is 5. Next. Negative 1 minus negative 4, that becomes negative 5. So, that's negative 5 squared. Next. 5 squared is 25. Plus... 5 squared is again 25. So, that is 25 plus 25, 50, that's equal to 50. So, that's the distance from S to M, which is the length of our diameter. Because we're looking for the length of the radius, we'll just divide this one with 2. So, radius is equal to square root of 50 divided by 2. That's equal to
5 square root of 2 over 2 or you can have it in decimal form that's approximately approximately that's equal to 3.54 number 13 what proof uses figures on a coordinate plane to prove geometric properties so if you will review um, quarter to week 6 topics this was um, being discussed and the proof that uses figures on a coordinate plane to prove geometric properties is geometric proof number 14 what figure is formed when points C to 4 point H at 4 4 point A at 4 2 and point N and at 2 2 are connected consecutively so let's draw our graph and let's see what figure is being formed point C at 2 4 so that's 1 2 and then 4 units upward so this is point C next point H at 4 4 1 2 3 4 and then 4 units upward so that's point H point A at 4 2 1 2 3 4 and then 2 units upward so this is point A next point N at 2 2 2 units at the X and then 2 units upward this is N let's connect them consecutively so the figure that is being formed is a square and for the last number for the examples of evaluation part we have number 15 three of the coordinates of a rectangle are 1, 3, 3, 3, and 3, negative 2. What is the fourth vertex? So again, we have the figure as rectangle. So it should have four vertices. There are three vertices that are given. So let's locate for the fourth vertex. So let's draw our graph. First point is at 1, 3. So 1 and then 3 units upward so it's here next 3 3 so 3 units on the x axis and then 3 units upward here next 3 units on the x axis and 2 units downward so 1 2 and what is the location of our fourth vertex because our figure is a rectangle let's draw and connect our vertices so to make this figure a rectangle the point the fourth vertex should be located at this point which is at 1 negative 2 1 negative 2 to form a rectangle so the location of the fourth vertex fourth vertex is at 1 negative 2 so that's it class thank you for watching I hope you've learned something from this video to be more updated for my future videos please subscribe to my channel push the notification bell and hit the like button this is your channel signing out